what's up? I'm the Tool Bedroom here doing another video for you guys, and this time it's a toy haul. Now, you're probably thinking, uh, this isn't a toy. Yeah, it's just something that I want to mention. I decided to get a new keyboard and mouse. The keyboard on my laptop is slowly degrading, and I can't necessarily rely on the mouse 24-7. It's just a weird thing. So I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and just chip in and get a keyboard and mouse. It was pretty cheap, so I thought, eh, why not? But, of course, we've got toys. So I went to a dollar store with an unexpected surprise. And I'm trying to dig through and find... Yep, here it is. This is a gray base plate. So if you watch my animation with the Jimmy and Joe, you would know that... Or you would probably have seen that the base plate had a bunch of Lego pieces over top of it. Uh, because actually, it was a green base plate that I had to cover because I don't have a gray one. I know that's a weird thing, but I decided, okay, this one for a dollar, sure, why not? It's a knockoff brand brick thing, so yeah, that's fine. Moving on, we also have a bunch of Hot Wheels cars, and I was very surprised to find these because I think they're C-case cars, and I've had a difficult time trying to find A-case or B-case, but C-case in a dollar store, here they are. It's not a complete case, and I just found whatever they had and, and picked through. The first thing I'm going to bring up is this Ford Mustang Mac E 1400. That's a good looking car. Take a look at that. The printing is amazing. I definitely know that because I accidentally bought a second one and decided to open it up. I was in a bit of a rush at the end there and uh, kind of struggling with a bunch of things. So I didn't clue in that I got to the same car. But hey, one opened and one to keep sealed. Sure, why not? I usually do that with some of the cars, so I have no problem with that. So, just grabbing random cars, you know, we don't have to go into a specific order. We have Tool again. This is one of my favorite cars that are like a fictional car that actually has some sort of, you know, purpose to it. You know, it's a wrench, so that's nice. And I like the colors of it. I like the teal and the green. So getting another version of the Tooligan, I have no problem with. I have a lot of those cars. Moving on, we also have the Ford Focus RS. This is a pretty good one in the light blue. That's very nice. No paint applications on the back or on the front, which is a little unfortunate. I feel like it definitely needs it. I do like the white stripes, but uh, yeah, I, I thought it was all right. So I decided to pick that up. Another car that I really like was Track manga so for this car i've always wanted it but for some reason i never picked it up finally decided to do it and i love the color scheme of this one in particular i think the dark blue and the yellow really suits it so i'm really happy about that and then moving on we also have blade raider which i do have a chase version of and i believe i have another one i can't remember if i do but i saw this with the silver and the brown and i thought man that looks really good for it it's one of the baja blazers so that's pretty awesome moving on we also have the box for you know that mustang uh, we have the GT Scorcher. So I heard a lot about this. There was a little bit of hype for it because I think it was one of the first cars in the case that was revealed. So I was a little excited and I thought, yeah, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and grab it. So I decided to grab it there when I saw it. Moving on, this is a good one. This is the McLaren F1 GTR. I love the color scheme of it. The orange and the metallic with the almost light blue color scheme. Yeah, that's really nice. And then the paint applications or the tampos all over it just looks absolutely fantastic. Except for the number three that kind of breaks up. But otherwise, it looks really good. No paint applications on the back except for the spoiler. But still, overall, very nice. Moving on, we also have... Bully Goat. Now, funny story about this. The main reason why I wanted this is because I have a Color Changers version that was part of a track set. So I've never owned a mainline version of it, and I thought, eh, might as well try in my hand and try to get one, and uh, here it is. And I love the tempo on it. Yes, they're $1.50. It was in that dollar store, so... Uh, yeah, just looks really cool. I love the color scheme of it. I love the printing on the side. It's one of those art cars, so very cool with that. And I believe, yes, this is the last one of the haul, and I love these retro-style cars in particular. It reminds me a lot of the Lamborghini Countach. This is the 94 Bugatti EB110SS. 
Take a look at that. I love the yellow with the red interior and the dark color scheme of the windows. It reminds me a lot of some of the older Hot Wheels cars that I would grow up with. So I definitely need this. The Tampo printing on the back is fantastic. I am so in love with that car. So yes, a bunch of 2022 Hot Wheels cars. I did get a haul recently for a couple of other 2022 cars, but aside from that, this is the first run of a big haul of 2022 cars. So that's awesome. Better late than never. I, I feel like I should have got more previously, but unfortunately I didn't. But now we got this, so I'm not gonna complain too much about that. With that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I will see you guys next time.